Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. Today we have a new pair of sneakers from Reebok CL Legacy Assassin Creed Valhalla. We do start with the unboxing. The did came with this uh, nice box, very well made and with nice details. As you can see, even the protective paper has these uh, logos and signs from the game. Here in Spain we have it for 90 euros, in United States I didn't find them, I don't know if they will come in the future, maybe, I don't know. This is my first time when I'm trying this model from Reebok and I do like them very much. The grey panels, they are made from Nubuk and they are used to reinforce a bit these uh, sneakers. We can find them in the toe box, in the heels and places area. Here we can see printed a sign from the game and I think it does look very cool, very nice uh, details. On the back of the heel we find a Reebok logo and that is made from synthetic material. On the black lateral panels we find written like a viking, those panels the same are uh, synthetic material. They did came with two pair of laces in different colors, which I like it. On the tongue we have this logo from the game and it's very well made, it does look very cool. We can see here the material used to give some padding to this tongue, most of it is foam. The fabric used on this sneaker I think is nylon. Here I'm trying to show you with my fingers the transparency of this uh, nylon being quite thin actually. The insoles can be removed, this particular one came with logo of the game and the other one has the logo of Reebok. On the back side we can find these stripes and they are sticky. This is how it looks inside, here we can see the materials used on the footbed. Here we have some shots with the outsole, I like it very much, it does remind me a bit of the one from Ultra Boost. The rubber I think is a bit more thicker in this case and I do like it a bit more and it's not that sticky as the one from Ultra Boost. Overall I think this outsole does look very very good and it will give you a good grip. The midsole is injection molded and it's very lightweight and I like it because it has a glossy finish and it will be very easy to wipe out all the dust. And now the second sneaker of this pair. I think the quality on these sneakers is very good and I didn't find any issues with these sneakers.
Here we have the other insole and we can see that it came with this uh, Reebok logo. While I was changing the laces I noticed that they have these holes and I thought you should know about them. That perforated tongue, it will allow your feet to breathe a bit more this way. And here we can see a bit better how they will be attached those laces. And look for this depth of this printing, very well made. And here we have the weight test. I didn't compare them with other sneakers because I don't have others that looks like these ones. In comparison with Ultra Boost 20, these ones have 100 grams more or 3.5 ounces. And now some unfit shots from upper angle. About the comfort, overall I would say it's good and for this price I can't complain too much, honestly. They won't have the comfort from Ultra Boost, that's for sure, they don't have that bounce. But still it's very good. One thing that I noticed and I wish they were having is that arch support and I find it very useful in my case because I have a height arch. I think that they can be used as uh, lifestyle sneakers but not running sneakers. They are better choices out there. Now pros and cons. Pros, well the colorway, I like it very much. I like this model, the silhouette that it has, it's very nice. I like overall the materials, I can complain they are okay, they are good enough for this price. 
cons. I wish they were a bit more comfy. I wish maybe that they would have some reflective materials. And other concern I think it will be if my feet will breathe enough not having a mesh. I wish they were having some mesh panels because it will allow your feet to breathe a bit more. This nylon, I'm not really sure how it will be after one hour with them on my feet. So my final thoughts on them, I like them. And I think in cold weather, they will be okay. I'm not sure how they will be in warm weather because they cannot breathe as I would like to. I will end my review here. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time and please don't forget to subscribe.